Hey, this is Pablo with the LSP Data. Um, if you don't know us, we're a real estate data provider. Um, we've been doing this for about three plus years, um, specifically Texas, but nationwide. Uh, but today I want to introduce you to one of our new services called Virtually Drive for Dollars. And in short, um, Virtually Driving for Dollars is just like driving for dollars, but from your computer, right? So here we're saying from the comfort of your home. So whether you're driving your neighborhood, maybe you already have good relationships with, you know, the postman um, or anyone else that sort of brings you deals, right? Because they see the property conditions around their neighborhood and whatnot. So same concept, but we're able to get that information, right? And the information we're gathering from are from complaints, right? From neighbor complaints, uh, from inspection data. So we have uh, various data sources that we get this type of information. And just to jump straight into it, uh, we'll use Houston as an example. So here, <clears throat> our main bread and butter is this complaint section here, right? So like I said, you know, the reason we're called virtually drive for dollars is that the same concept as you physically driving applies here, right? So for example, we'll show you here the latest um, incidents or the latest complaint. And this is gonna be refreshed on a daily basis, right? Uh, right now we're covering seven major cities in Texas and I'll touch on those in a little bit um, here in a minute. But for now, just to give you a bit of how this works is here I can type for any complaint. So let's think of uh, you know things like high grass, right? So we can click on this and we can see that a complaint about um, high grass and weeds. Um, there is a vacant lot, right? High grass, right? You can type things like uh, vacant, right? So any vacancies, you know, vacant house has high grass, etc. So anything that you can really think of, we're, we're sort of filtering on various keywords that uh, would identify a property to be distressed, right? So let's say a um, if you're looking for roof um, conditions, right? This one says roof is caving in and bathrooms are not working. Um, so this is the value that we're providing in which you can uh, pull up any properties, right? And the specific zip codes if you need it and get a good idea of what's wrong with the property, right? Um, and again, we're providing you all the relevant information like the property type, who owns it, um, and you know what kind of property it is. And I'll touch a little bit on the filters here in a minute. But again, I want to show you that this is a you know, free text form, right? Anything that you can think of, like if I type squad, there's squatters in the property and whatnot, right? So anything that uh, you know, property is abandoned, um, abandoned and overgrown windows up and unsecure. As you can see, this is less than two weeks ago that was reported. So even in other platforms, um, I, I guarantee you that you're not gonna find this information in other platforms. And even uh, companies that uh, claim that they're virtually driving for dollars, they may be using outdated Google image tribute like this one, right? You wouldn't be able to tell that there's something wrong with this, but based on the neighborhoods, um, the neighbors that are calling in and reporting this, this particular house is unsecure, right? Um, and yeah, like I mentioned, you can search real, really for anything that would identify a, um, you know, um, the, the house having some issue, right? <clears throat> now, what we're trying to do in the future is also add different criteria here. So for example, if you wanted to see properties that are also tax delinquent, but they're also maybe, you know, they have issues with, um, uh, let's say they're vacant, right? You can filter by tax delinquent and vacant. And as you can see, this is uh, one of them. Home is vacant as well. Maybe you want to see, you know, the, the, the area or the properties themselves, right? Um, <clears throat> you want to see properties that are boarded, right? That's a good indicator of a property that's, uh, you know, abandoned. Uh, so let's see if any of those uh, reflect on, on what those descriptions are, right? Um, some may, like I mentioned, some may have outdated Google images, um, but I'm just providing you with this more so for, for reference, right? But as you can see, it's fairly easy to use. 
Um, and again, it'll give you all the information you need. So if you need to download this, skip trace it, that's on you. Uh, again, we're applying other, we're including other relevant information. Let's say we want to see if there was ever an eviction. So for this case, there's none. But if we just take off the actual complaint, then we can see that some of those have had past evictions uh, there, right? So anyways, uh, as you can see, it's fairly easy to utilize. Um, if you wanted to filter by some uh, other filter than the ones we have, you can easily, let's say, you're looking for abandon and tax delinquency, but you're trying to identify, you know, a certain um, amount of of uh, a value for the property, right? So, since we don't have the filter yet, you can easily just download it. And once you download it, obviously you can get a um, there you go. You can get uh, the spreadsheet that you know you would get from any other uh, real estate data company, and this is ready for you to skip trace or uh, filter as, as you need, right? So again, uh, this is for Houston, but we uh, we have other uh, like Austin, um, same, same concept, um, Dallas as well, uh, Galveston. Uh, but again, this is uh, Houston is one of the ones that we have covered quite a bit. And uh, again, everyone's looking for different, you know, um, properties, right? You also have the ability to, um, you know, maybe you're only targeting single family properties, right? Or maybe you're looking for inland lots, right, in the city. Uh, and maybe, you know, there's some some issues there as well that you're trying to identify, right? So, for example, this particular ones are um, vacant lots, right? And you can easily sort of identify those based on, um, you know, those particular characteristics. So anyways, like I said, we're covering um, so far uh, Texas. And these are the cities that you can uh, sign up for. Since we're getting started here, uh, if you're interested in signing up, you have two options. You can either do $37 a month for each individual city or you can sign up uh, for $99 that covers the entire state, right? And that's earlier pricing. Uh, most likely we'll increase it, but for now, this gives you a pretty good idea of uh, you know what their platform is. And um, if you need any help or any assistance, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, I'll end the demo here and just finish up with any questions you may have.